Joining us tonight, I'm Laura Kennedy. Lindsay has the night off. While many locals chose to shop small today, yesterday's Black Friday deals drew big crowds to the big box stores, but today local businesses had their share of what economists call the biggest shopping weekend of the entire year. Our Matt Lapoli is taking us downtown now for a look at the impact here on Springfield. Laura, some locals were introduced to businesses that were new to them. Others told us they routinely shop downtown to support the city's small businesses. And everyone we spoke with said Small Business Saturday is a healthy boost to our area economy. After long lines and long hours at major retailers, lots of locals chose a different approach to holiday shopping Saturday in downtown Springfield. It's fun. It's fun. And it's different from the chaotic Black Friday, I think. It's not cutthroat and horrible. <laughs> Several downtown shops took part in Small Business Saturday, offering special deals and a more local feel. We shop down here anyway. This is my favorite place to shop. Brian King, the owner of Mudhouse Coffee Shop, says the event may have given downtown a double shot of business. It's been a crazy busy Saturday. So many small businesses downtown like ourselves and Queen City Cycles behind us and you know, various pubs that are locally owned and all that, and I think we all try to support each other. And the small business Saturday trend isn't the only thing that's growing. Shop owners like Swagbot's Julie Matthews tell us downtown Springfield has seen plenty of positive change in recent years. It's great to see the growth downtown. Um, there's just, you know, there's businesses that come and go, but then there's ones that um, are just hardcore. They, they are the foundation. It's starting to become a huge community where everyone just kind of knows each other and it's really friendly and fun. Shoppers say spending locally is important to them, so their money can further economic growth and help the city thrive. These are people that are here every day. They live in your neighborhoods and they're trying to make a living. And so I figure I should give my money to them rather than a, you know, big franchise or corporation from some other area. The Small Business Saturday trend is growing not just here in Springfield, but across the country. According to American Express, consumers spent $5.5 billion last year nationwide. 